so actually, um, as this is education to the PASIC event, right? It's a drum education event too. Um, so I guess I should sort of maybe dip my toe into that a little for you. So I'm going to play um, halftime shuffle. Is a groove that I that I really 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 love, um, and I think from an education standpoint. If I got some of you guys up to play, most people would play a straight groove, you know, this, this side of the spectrum. Nine times out of ten, people play straight sixteens, straight eighth note groove. Very rarely will someone play a sort of slightly swung groove. Um, and I think the halftime shuffle is obviously the ultimate sort of tripletized swung groove. And I think it's worth working on it. Um, because if you can get your swing end work, working as well as your straight end, as it were. The, all the magic stuff that happens in the middle is sort of slightly swung and all that really cool stuff that drummers do. Um, and machines can't quite get that sort of slightly swung stuff. It's all in the middle. But I think if you develop your swing side, so the, the halftime shuffle is a, is a great groove um, to work on. I first heard it in 1984. Uh, so there's no internet then. And I heard uh, Rosanna, is what I heard. And uh, I was 14, and I was like, what's this guy doing? It's unbelievable. And I tried to fill in the gaps as a 14-year-old kid to figure out what he was doing, and I came up with all different sorts of ideas. And my drum teacher at the, at the time also didn't know actually what he was doing. Um, and about a year and a half later, someone showed me a modern drummer magazine and somebody had transcribed it in the back of the magazine and said, this is the Rosanna Shuffle. So the first time I figured out, oh, that's what he's doing. Um, and there's, there's a beautiful little turnaround that Jeff does, um, uh, which I'll show you. It's, it's, cool. <laughs> it's, it's not me, it's him. <laughs> but, you know, it took me a while to figure out what he's doing. But when, you know, if you work on those, if you, if you break the groove down into, into four beats and work on the, each section um, as an individual exercise, you know, I think that's going to really be beneficial for you in the, in the long run. So, and also you think, oh, I'm never going to play a halftime shuffle unless I'm in a cover band playing, you know, some Steely Dan or, or Rosanna. Um, but I was very fortunate to play on a, a, an album for a guy called Seal, I don't know if you know him. Uh, and uh, <laughs> they, they played me the track and it was a sort of slightly straight beat, um, but it was, could possibly be swung. So I, he was there and I, I played this groove and I thought, I wonder if I could get away with playing a half time shuffle. Let's see if I can get away with it. And I did it and Seal goes, what's that? I said, oh, it's, 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 it's a groove called the half time shuffle. He said, yeah, play that on this. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, yeah, it's called this. This track's called uh, Red Zone Killer, and it's off of, um, of Seal Seven. And I'm 